Oh, you fucking Megan Mo! You fucking Mo! Alright, you fucking Mo! Fuck! And then she hit up what? Incorrect! <laughs> Where's the manager? I demand to speak to the manager. What did you do last week is filmed in front of a live TV goat. <coughs> Today's episode is brought to you by Adam Sandler. Sandman, we hope you're well. We love you. Please come home. So my light gun kind of broke. Yeah? Yeah. After the fucking... I mean, I'd, I'd go so far as to describe it as a kerfuffle getting the fucking shit set up. Like I went through, you know, the other day. Mm. I'm like, oh, this is nice. I can I can enjoy my my thing that I've spent a while getting to work properly. Yeah. And um, I got like maybe one sweet afternoon of that. <laughs> and then, um, you know, and it's, 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 it's a, they have Bluetooth ones and Bluetooth adapters. Although, you know, as with everything to do with like fucking, you know, like guns for some reason, just none of it is ever in stock. Mm. At least, you know, for, from the Ultimark side of things. I have one of their aim track guns. I honestly think, like, just it's a COVID thing that just, like, it was always out of stock before COVID. Yeah. And then COVID hit, so now it's even well, more I mean, out of stock. That gets into something that I'll, I'll, I'll go into in a second, but, like, okay. just, you know, I, I got this one for, you know, it was a birthday present to me, like, two years ago, and it's, it's, it's fairly solid. It uses mm. a similar system, you know, again, all of them use a basic... IR system. And it's not exactly the same as like CRT and that CRT didn't um, have any sense of a mouse being dragged across the screen. It, right. What it used was the insanely fast refresh and um, oh God, what's the other thing? Like reaction, you know, response time mm. of CRT to basically create a flash on the screen that the thing could read and then tell where the thing was pointing. Sure. And so that, that, that was almost fucking functionally instant and didn't require any persistent observation by any kind of system. Yep. So it was really fast, you know, really good. Now, the modern ones, I think, are fucking functionally good enough. Like, I... I mean, if you're some kind of, like, I don't know, person who exclusively played, like, Pang... Not Pang. <laughs> what was that other one? Uh -huh. Point Blank, that's Point it. Point Blank, yeah. Pang's not... Pang's the game about, like, destroying evil balloons. Yeah. Um, yeah, so Point Blank. If you're one of those people who, like, was insanely good at Point Blank and only played Point Blank... I had a friend Blank, like that. Yeah, yeah. No, like... Everyone Point, did. Point blank, people are a fascinating, if lost, form of like weird video game artist. Like you just don't find them around much anymore. I remember renting it on the PS One yeah. from Blockbuster, and when you rent it, they like give you the gun. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Yeah, I mean, it, like, look, it's it's a fun game if you like those kind of carnival games. But I don't pick up a fucking toy gun to shoot like a leaf. Killer thing know? is, you know, PlayStation had load times. Mm. So yeah, Gosh, because that. game the point blank games were all very short. Yeah, yeah, you know? they're like mini they were, games. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It was uh, it was not fun. It's not not translate well. So like it, it works because it has like a sensor bar on the top, and the thing uses like you know you calibrate it, and it uses math to then triangulate where you're pointing and stuff like that. And provided like with the the way the ultimarks work is provided you're in basically the same spot each time, it is effectively one to one. Like I I turn the fucking crosshairs off for all of these things. You know I blast away. I'm happy. Um, the new ones, like one that I did order a little while ago is by Arcade Europe. And mm. Arcade, the, you know, basically someone, some kid called, some Frenchman, I think, called JB on like the Arcade Controls forum, because he has like the skill, effectively just built his own system called the Gun for IR. Right. And what that was is kind of like the same basic approach, but instead of using just one bar across the top, does what the Arcade fucking machines did and had like a point at the top, a point each on, on each side and then a point at the bottom. And because now we've got four IR points, the math in the gun can then just know where everything is always regardless of what direction and stuff because it can it can sense plane shifts in where the, you know, IR is, mm. you know? So it's basically perfect. And I really wanted one of those. But the problem was no one was just building them. It was like, here are instructions <laughs> for other spectrum -y people to like get your own Arduino, to fucking program it, to fucking get the light, the fucking camera and shit yourself. Mm. And like, it was at the point where I was about, I was just thinking to myself, you know, you can probably do this. It's just like, it's just, you know, you just click the thing and it, you, you know, all, all it is is soldering, you know? Mm. And I, I was just about to fucking launch into it, but like, this was where we get to the main problem of like, COVID very specifically appears to have disrupted the supply lines for like, the kind of camera that all these things use. 
And so just everything went to shit for a while there. Yeah. And so I've got this like fucking Ultima gun, which is fundamentally still a good gun, and I'll probably like sort out something to do with it. Like I might mount the parts and something else, but it's just got this really long fucking cable. Mm. And that really long fucking cable now has a break in it somewhere. And so when I move it, uh, I hear da -da 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 -da, and yeah. that's just the fucking computer freaking out. I mean, I'm gonna get get into the back of the cabinet and be like, oh, okay, maybe like I'm 100% certain it's not this because it very specifically does this when I move the cable in a certain way. But like, I don't know, maybe it's a fucking, maybe it's just the fucking USB not in properly. Mm, you know, it won't be that. It, no, it, it, it will not be that. It will be the worst thing. Like. Yeah, it'll be like there's somewhere in this like fucking two to three meter long fucking thick black cord that has not only the data cable for the gun, but also the power cord for the fucking, you know, uh, what's that shit? Recoil fucking thing in it. Right. Um, that I'm going to have to fucking strip and search. Like apparently there's ways you can like, like I'm just going to have to physically find the fucking break. Yeah. But until then, like I've got, you know, hopefully like my arcade Europe gun should be getting mailed out in like May. Like it was supposed to get mailed out, like I ordered it in like November or some shit. Yeah. And it was supposed to get mailed out, but then, you know, fucking everything happened, so Yeah. I don't get my fucking toy. Yeah. It's rough. Like, yeah. So now it's just like, well, I've got everything fucking working. I got the fucking Lupin the third shooting game for oh, fuck working. Yeah. yeah. And that's a really fun game. And it's like completely like sort of the, you know, anime style and shit. Yeah. I've got that going and it's like, can't play it. Uh. Or I can I can be one of those mutants that like uses the fucking uh, joystick no, to like, move across. No, don't do that. Around. Don't do that. Yeah. Like They're that's still out there. That you you're digging in a hole there. Like you just it's, You don't no, you sucks. don't want to be that person. It sucks. And so it's just this fucking, it's just goddamn yeah. lump. So like, I don't know. So this podcast was supposed <sighs> to be pretty much every Sunday, but I've been terribly fucking ill. We figured um, some of that out though. Yeah, we figured some of that out. Um, as you, uh, if you're well, watching this on YouTube. No, you did. You were one of the doctors. <laughs> it's just, yeah, it was just me and like a lab coat, like stone cold. <laughs> um, so if you're watching on YouTube, you will see um, Sonic the Hedgehog being played. Uh, this is the... Android version, which is, you know, wider frame of view, better, con better controls. It was made by Christian Whitehead, the guy who spearheaded the Sonic Mania. And these will be the versions that are in Sonic Origin. Um, they essentially Origins. use sort of these PC engine program to, to take the data that's been extracted from those 8.apks, which are the Android files, and play. Yeah, so it's not emulating an Android game. No. But it's, it's, what, it, what it is is its own... You know, PC executable that then just uses the data pack that it's you like strip a, out. Yeah, of the data game. is like a map essentially to yeah. to tell it what to render, where to function, all that sort of stuff. And it is the best way to play Sonic One because fuck me, Sonic One is not fun to play. It's almost like a game based around fucking tearing ass through the stage. Benefits from a wider field of view. Yeah, so you can see a lot more stuff coming. It's yeah. easier to avoid the the fact that Sonic's tighter. In his turn, like he, in he his just, he, yeah, his butthole's tighter, man. It's very, very butthole. Um, you know, you can option to play as tails and with tails, which is really cool because he's got the function, you know, to fly to pull the you up. Whirly boy. I never did that because, like, I'm old school and I forget about it. Um, <laughs> I love those things. I could even bite you. But yeah, so that's that. You're gonna see that on the YouTube side if you're on Spotify. You maybe I you can will see nothing. Maybe I can attach it because Spotify does have a video option. I. Did not know that. Yeah, like, because the Sunny, remember the Always Sunny podcast you can watch with the video now? Oh, I don't know. Like, you mentioned Always Sunny has, like, a video section. I... You just no, tuned I out? Know. Well, I, no, well, like, I thought that they might have been also putting it on in like, oh, a okay. format that has video. I just figured... Yeah, oh, no, yeah, if, you're on, if you're listening on Spotify, like, on my phone, there's just, like, a video button. Huh. I click it, and the video pops up. It's bizarre, because it's a podcast. It's just a webcam they attached to Charlie. <laughs> I wish. So, yeah, the, the, we were supposed to happen. So what's been happening with me is a few weeks ago, I got very sick. Like, and by very sick, I mean oh. I started, like, really sweating. Sicker than usual. Um, I didn't have a temperature, but I felt really hot and, you know, like, sort of vertigo and that sort of stuff. That went away, you know, pretty quickly after you're having a little bit of food and a sleep. But then, like, a week later... It happened again, and I was fucking struck down. I was hot, sweaty. As soon as I got out of the blankets, I was freezing cold. Mm. No temperature, no, you know, other symptoms like sickness, like sore throat or anything like that. I just felt fucking wrong. And, like, I couldn't watch TV. I couldn't play games and stuff. I just couldn't function, you know? That's the worst part about, like, a lot of these things is, like, you don't even... 
you know, you can't do anything. Yeah. You can't even do things you'd like to do if you didn't have anything else to do but sit down. Because your body just can't focus. Yeah. It just, you try to focus and you're like, you might read like, for example, I try to read a comic and I read three panels and I'm like, I understood the first two panels. And as I'm going on, I'm understanding less and less. I'm like, I can't keep concentration on this. America? Yeah. Like I have to keep looking back at a previous panel to go, did I miss something? And that sucks because I was like, okay, I'll put on the TV. And it's like, can't even concentrate on that. Yeah. So I end up, all I do is napping through the day, <laughs> but then it gets to nighttime where it's time to sleep. You cannot and sleep. And you can't sleep. No. So I laid on the couch watching Marvel movies in anticipation for the Doctor Strange and until just until it kind of burnt out of me enough to get sleep. That struck me down for three days. I was better after three days. Like, no worries. Then this Saturday, the same fucking thing happened again. Mm. And it started getting worse around sort of like 11 a.m. And I'm like, no, I'm going to hospital. Like, this is, this is not correct. I'm going to hospital. Yeah, I'm used to feeling like shit, but shit, shit? <laughs> I don't know about that. So we go to the hospital. Fuck a little bouncy caterpillar ass bits. Yeah, I know, right? And the hospital has this thing where, like, they've got a guy out front and, you know, only one person can go in. And, you know, I went in, went, saw the triage nurse, got all my data, told them all the stuff I'm feeling. Then I went back outside because they had, like, a tent outside you could wait in because inside was just freezing. I was just not good. Waited outside for quite a bit. Finally went inside, saw the doctor. She brought me in this room. She's like, oh, you've been having like sort of fevers lately. And I'm like, yeah. Then she left. <laughs> she came back in full hazmat gear. <laughs> you've been having fevers lately. Yeah, lol. Sucks to be you. <laughs> okay. She came back in full hazmat gear. That's great. And because like, obviously she had to test for COVID. Yeah. I did, like, she did ask me if I'd been, you know, tested recently. And I'm like, I took a test, but it was negative. So she, we went in the room. She took the swabs of my nose. Um, thankfully, I didn't have like a sore nose or throat. Oh, lovely nostril swab. Because apparently that really sucks if you do. And it Yeah, did, I can imagine. It wasn't fun like normally. It wasn't that great. Test comes back negative for COVID. She took a shitload of my blood. Just for fun. Um, then told like, like, we went out use. and she's like, look, I just got to talk to my boss because like they have like a sort of like admission room sort of thing. Mm. With like six chair, like nine chairs in Which it. Which hospital is this? Ah, uh, Logan. Oh, okay. And she's like, "This is this is an area like people wait, they like don't have COVID." She's like, "I know you. We've just tested you, and you're negative. I just got to ask my boss if you can be here." Mm. So it she took me back out into ER, and I sat down, and this guy comes in, screaming, That's great. absolutely screaming, like in pain. In pain. Okay. So what's happened? Is because I got the I overheard this later. Um, <laughs> yeah, is this guy got his finger stuck in a motorbike chain? Oh, that and it sucks. Had torn his finger nearly completely off, oh. and it was essentially hanging by a thread. He's oh. like, I can see my bone, like he's crying. He's delirious, dude. So they're trying to rush get it, get like, him. Dude, in I can see your bone as, <laughs> as quick as possible. But, you know, hospitals are hospitals. Yeah. You can't just go take a guy and go, let's take him in, you know, because, yeah. like, you don't know what else he's got. You don't know where the room is. He might be ugly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, they, so they get secondary He's treatment. getting more and more agitated and upset, <laughs> and he starts yelling, you fucking cunts. Like, I told you, I'm sitting here like you, my finger. Yeah. And he's like, dude, the hospital can't cure pussy, all right? And, like, don't be a baby. No, so I heard someone literally from the background go, don't be a pussy. Like... <laughs> Like, I mean, like, look, I, you know, I seen fucked up shit. Let the shock do its work. And the you poor, know? you know, the lady, the lady just goes very calmly, "Don't swear at me." And it's like, yeah, like these people are trying to. And she's like, "I'm trying to help you." And it's like, yeah, these <sighs> people, these, it's like, dude, you aren't paying anything for this. Healthcare's free here. Well, like, also, there's not like. What, what are you expecting to happen? Like, nothing is going to, like, fucking... Yeah, because I can't come out and spray back to tank on you. Yeah, like, there's no magic that's going to fix this. Like, the last time I had to have stitches was when I... Because because I have, like, excellent reflexes. Mm. But, like, reflexes are just reflexes. They don't go to school. They don't get smart. <laughs> I managed to shoot my hand out to catch something, and I caught it. The unfortunate thing is the thing I was catching was a very heavy piece of broken glass that Oof. just got straight into my palm. And... Normally, I'd have just been like, eh, because it was only about like a centimeter long, but it was also like two centimeters deep. Oh. And I'm like, 
Yeah, that's that's, that's a like it was just like oh yeah, look at that. I can see the meat, and I'm like, all right, yeah, I should probably go get some fucking stitches on that one. And it's like you walk in and it's like I've had this you know bit of glass jammed into me, like, and I can I get you can see bits. Yeah, I can see stuff move. Yeah. And like, you know, I was just like, well, we can wait for the fucking NSA. I was just like, oh, just, just fucking sew it up. It's fine. Yeah. I was like, look, you just, just take, just take your breaths. I mean, women can get through fucking pregnancy yeah. with that shit. Just yeah. like fucking. So he, he's screaming, you know. And hollering just makes it worse. My doctor, she comes back out. So I'm taken away from Screamo. Yeah. And. <laughs> <laughs> look, sir, if you keep yelling, we're just going to like injure other bits of you. And. So I, I get in and sat it get sat into this chair. I'm on the left side chair. There's another chair to my right and another chair, and then across from me there's three other chairs as well. Yeah. And oh, there might be four. Mm. There might be four across. There's a guy I, in the I corner. Don't think that's the relevant element. And he's he's there. asleep. You know, he's got a blanket on him. He's asleep. I don't know how long he's been there. He's dead. Um, there was a guy next to him. Uh, saw an islander looking fellow. Um. And this nurse ended up coming and talking to him and stuff. And he's like, oh, I want to get food. And she's like, oh, you know, we can be... And he's like, oh... And she's like, well, if you want to get outside food, people can bring it to you. He's like, oh, yeah, choice. So he gets on the, he gets on the, he gets on the phone. And he starts calling around, <laughs> trying to get people to deliver him food to the hospital. <laughs> um, he never got his food because no one obviously wanted to deliver him food to the hospital. Yeah. Like, was I he trying know. for, like, Uber or just, like, No, just friends. friends. That's, yeah, see, I feel like that's... I don't know if Uber can deliver to the hospital. I mean, they might be able to deliver. I suppose, yeah, they won't come in. Yeah. I mean, like, I, you know, I wouldn't. It's like, hey, come inside the ho I don't want to come into the hospital. That's where the things are, <laughs> you know? And I'll get this, I'll catch this guy's, like, fucking crazy finger. There's you another, can see the bone, Aaron. There's another lady on the very left, and she's kind of just... On a, under a blanket on a phone and then they're on my right in the very corner there's a lady kind of sleeping an old dude to my right and then there's me now i don't know what the old dude had old it was he, he was in pain though because they were giving him yeah. endone he just had old so yeah it's just it comes a point where if you haven't really looked after yourself you get a you get a bad case of old so i'm sitting there just trying to like because i have to wait about an hour at least for the bloods and urine test um, they're supposed to come and give me some tablets Tests and came stuff. came back delicious. <laughs> In the meantime, but no one has. Uh, they're, they're pretty busy. I gotta get a job at a hospital. It's yep. coming back. Well, your urine test came back delicious. <laughs> <laughs> I'd fuck with people so bad. Oh, hey, man. he's Put drinking my pee. <laughs> yeah. You're meant to be cleaning. I, I, I'm, I'm a doctor. No, you're a janitor. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Yanitor. Yeah, that was changed, one of my favorite fucking jokes. Changed my name scrubs. to Dr. Janitor. <laughs> <laughs> so I overhear Screamo come back in. Oh, so he's be he's he's he somewhere in a hall, like around and to the right from me. Like, can't we use toxic masculinity to peer pressure this guy into shutting up? Like, what's the point of all this if it's not to get like bits of convenience like this? Yeah, you know? I. So I, he's I, I he's going on and on. So they've. I've also overheard previous to this at the nurse station next to me that they were talking about him because they had to get an <laughs> x-ray of his finger. Yeah. But the bandages and stuff are so big that they've had to put on him to stop the bleeding that they can't get an x-ray. Oh, hell yeah. So they're all discussing what to do. And I'm like, this is this is just like fucking, this is like, you know, scrubs. This is this is actually like it. Like they're joking, they're having fun. I'm just gonna have to just, rip it off. And, and I'm like, where's Zach Braff? That. Like, I'm not dying, am I? If Zach Braff comes in, I'm dying. I know I'm dying. <laughs> so they they're talking about how to do it, and someone's like, just take the bandage off and just do it. Just yeah. and they're like, no, but they're like, there's so much blood, and they're like, then they look at the photo, and then then they they go, oh, and it's like, yeah, that is like they, all, they hadn't all seen his blood. So they've ended up x-raying him and coming in and something, and I don't know what they were doing. I think they were injecting something into his hand for they the have, for anesthetic and yeah, stuff. Yeah, well, they, 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 there's like, you know, topical anesthetic gel. Yeah. And, like, they can they, they, they can hose that onto a site, and they can also, like, inject it into, like, local, local anesthetic. Right. So, like, it'll... I mean, really, yeah. Like, you know, you can just boot that in. And yeah, so he's... Just give, him, just give him a fucking quick shot of fucking He's screaming. I hear this I hear this deep sort of voice. Oh, really? We're fucking on the, he's on the... This guy is on the phone. Yeah. And I don't... I couldn't overhear him well enough because he talked very low. It's kind of like my real, timber real, of voice, but even, basic, but even yeah. a bit lower than me. And... Just blurs. 
Yeah, dude, he, I can just hear him going, don't be a fucking pussy and blah, blah, blah. Like, <laughs> I don't know if he's just walked into this guy and started like talking to him. But I can't get this guy's story, but he's trying to get away from the hospital. He goes, he's like, I've been here all fucking day. And he calls someone. I don't know who he calls, but he goes, just transfer me, the, for me the, all the fucking money now. He's like, I've been here all fucking day. I'm sick of it. And I'm like, I don't know what's going on. I he wonder keeps if calling he had people. A gutful. Yeah. And he's like, I'm, I'm trying to get peace, trying to get people to pick him up. Yeah. And every person he goes, he goes, look, mate, look, mate. <laughs> You just get to the fucking hospital right now. I'm telling you, fucking telling you right now. And then he goes, okay, I love you. And hangs up. And it's like, dude, you were literally just That's like. fucking great. It was, it was amazing. So those two, uh, I can hear in tandem over. They've okay, given, they've you. given Screamo the whistle. So <laughs> there's a whistle. Yeah. The green, they call it the green whistle. It's a, it's a drug. So it's a breathable. Oh, yeah. I thought they gave him an actual fucking no, flute. God, no, God, no. Just make, I don't know, make a change. Yeah, it's in the called screen. the green whistle. It's Penthrax, and that shit fucks you up. So okay. if you breathe it in, like, yeah. you breathe deep, and it just boom, instant, like floaty. I and did not know that was like I've I've you know been anesthetic once for mm. my fucking thing. Like I like I, honestly, like I'll take anti-inflammatories and shit, and I think really most of it's just like fucking you know the placebo effect. Like right. I really don't think it does shit for me. Like, I might be one of those fucking people who's like, you know, some of it just doesn't work well, so very th- well on. Yeah, the thing with anti-inflammatories and all that sort of stuff is you've got to be on them long term for them to really take effect properly. Oh, I know. And like, I've, like, I mean, in terms of like taking them for ages as, you know, for my, yeah. because like, they even gave me like, not the fucking full tilt industrial strength ones, because I didn't really want those, but like Celebrex, which is like a fairly... Like it's 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 better than the stuff you get like just at Coles. Yeah, and it's just like you take that day in and day out, and it's just like I don't feel. But yeah, the reason better. you don't want to be on them long term is because they just fuck you. Oh yeah, yeah, it um, messes with your heart and stuff, and well, also your stomach acids. Huh. Uh, so that that ties into what I've got, but I'll finish the story about Screamo and that. Um, so he's had the yeah, the Green Whistle Penthrax, and it it is a high. Penthrax. It just. You will be fucking floating. You will. It's like kind of like you know the dentist stuff, the big, the heavy anesthetics that they oh, give like you. Oh, laughing that. gas. Yeah, that sort of stuff. But the difference is this shit doesn't last long. So like that's that's gas. why they don't. That's why they use it like they usually use it taking you from the ambulance into the hospital. Yeah, I, it's that's, like that's a where, shut up for thirty seconds. Exactly. Like. That's where I've had it because like literally, I was when I was on it. I was like, I saw a dude who kind of looked like the black dude in house and I lost oh, my yeah. shit. I'm like, where's house? House is here. He'll fix me. Like you're really talkative. That's and great. So I hear this guy in the yeah, whistle on the Penthrax, and he, huh? and say, so, they've done something to him <laughs> while he wasn't looking and he's on the whistle. <laughs> and he goes, Oh, you fucking cunt. And then he goes, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Good. Like seriously, like they're not, they're not fucking with you. Cause it, I bet it, that's no, the thing is the like, gas, you've got no restraint. Okay. You you just you're gonna say shit, the and then you you know you'll apologize. Like for example, when they took it off me and like threw an threw it Mortal in the Kombat bin, Ninja. I went in the bin to get it. Like that's how <laughs> addictive that shit is. Give me more. Yeah, no, it's really addictive, and that's what that's why they don't use it a lot as well. Um, <laughs> I just give up. <laughs> <laughs> I went into the bin. Yeah, like it was just a waste bin. It wasn't like a clinical. No, bin or I know, anything. but it's still just really funny that like I know. it's this shit that works for a couple of seconds. You had to have been near where they're fucking gonna do their shit for you. And it's just like you have one, two to the old pen tracks, and then uh, what's Aaron? Well, you know, within fifteen <laughs> seconds of the pen wearing off, you know, Aaron was already outside scratching and offering to blow strangers <laughs> for more pen tracks. Oh, dude, I would. So that we shit's don't. Uh, we try not to just hand that shit out. You know, it's uh, yeah. That's uh, that's the real deal. So it turns out what I have is two things. I have gourd, which is gastroesophageal reflux disease, um, which sucks. Uh, and I, I mean, at least it's a thing though. And I also have like, peptic ulcers. What's a like? Okay, because I know ulcers. What is is a peptic ulcer its own thing? Because it turns yes. out, okay, for ages people thought ulcers were like you know a result of I don't know your diet. Or you were a fat guy or some shit. Yeah. But it turns out it's like a fucking virus or something that does it. And they can, <sighs> yeah, they can like so you, you can get it. ulcers a few different ways. Um, the main way most people get ul- ulcers in main days is either stress. You can get stress ulcers yeah. or anti-inflammatories. Oh. If you have anti-inflammatories too often, 
it will cause ulcers because it just breaks down the stomach lining improperly. Um, it fucks with your acid levels. So I on, I've been on a drug called Mobic, which is yeah. an anti-inflammatory, and mm. I've been on that for like eight months. <laughs> so as you can imagine, that has been completely destroying my stomach. Now, I'm pretty sure what has happened the two times I've gone to hospital was because I had a recorder lig. For those who don't know what recorder lig is, it's a cider. Oh, yeah. I was wondering where the fuck I knew that. I had a berry cider. It was a berry. And the thing is, it was berry. It was strawberry and lime. Doctor, doctor, I had one lady drink and I have been going to yeah. hospital. So the thing is, because they're too fizzy. I had and grilled. Sweet. And with when I was out with my partner and her mother, no problems. Because I got the gluten-free bun and I got the healthy fried chicken. So I eat really leanly at the moment. And going to in the future like i've cut out gluten you know all that sort of stuff because it fucks me up hard mm. i've got gluten intolerance so i gotta get tests and stuff that sucks because like i love gluten i know gluten's the best i just eat it raw if i could <laughs> just did you order just one industrial crate of chemical gluten i'd like to be alone with the gluten <laughs> so yeah i what was i saying um you drank or you drank a oh yeah lid. yeah thank you so I went to grill it. It was so it's I didn't get sick to the point after that. Of foamy. And then I went next week. I went out with Ash, and I had literally the same burger and chips that I had when I went out. Yeah, but I there, had that recorded. You'll be there thinking this is safe. I, I had this the other day. So the same thing happened. Was like I I had the exact same order except um I want like you order on the app thing when you go to this restaurant. You yeah. like and you just order to the table. But there was no gluten free option. So we went up and asked, and they had luckily had three buns left. And I was like, okay, cool. So we got that and had it immediately after drinking it. I'm like, I bet it's this. I bet this thing's going to make me feel sick. Like, and we, after we got home, I'm like, I do feel a little hot. I had a little bit of trouble getting to sleep. And then I woke up the next morning sweating. And I'm like, God fucking damn it. So like, what's hap Like, what's causing, like, why are you sweating? So, you know, like, that's, it, it's essentially I, so the, my the, 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 the fucking fizzy shit goes into you. Yeah. Because like so my dad's having weird shit at the moment the, as well. But yeah, I pretty much got nearly mirror, mirror to what your dad's got. Yeah, because dad's got a, a condition I'm currently calling wacky sphincter. Yeah. Where like the top fucking bit of the esophagus that lets stuff in and out is just going batshit. Yeah. Like it's just gone into business for itself. So it's the like difference between what goes him in what and me out. is it's my acid in my stomach and stuff. And because I don't have the gallbladder as well, that's not helping. Because okay. the gallbladder... When did you lose your gallbladder? A few years back. Remember I had it out? No, I don't remember that. Okay. Yeah, I had, I had, remember, I remember when I lost the weight? Oh, yeah. Really yeah, quickly? Yeah, that's right. Because I lost like 20 kilos in we three, were all three really months. really impressed, and it turned out you were incredibly sick. Yeah, because it killed my gallbladder. <laughs> um, so the gallbladder is what stores excess bile. Um, so bile, if that, essentially, if you eat lots of fatty foods and shit, the bile will just keep building up and then make you really sick. Yeah. So I've got to have lean foods and stuff so the bile can process. Yeah. Properly. Okay. And my huh. stomach is, is so it's all to do with my stomach acids. Right. So when those bit when I had that drink, A it was carbonated, B citrus, very citrus. Carbonadium. And very you know, berry is a you know high acidic content. Yeah, yeah. It goes into my stomach acid and my stomach acid isn't strong enough to overcome that. So it just basically goes and then it hits those ulcers, starts burning those ulcers. And then so my, what are the are the ulcers from the virus or the ulcers just from just the general fucking chaos of this and the fucking general chaos and right? So you've, you've had the anti-inflammatories that have fucked up your fucking so you got ulcers yeah. from that, and then all this chaos is going on. So you got like fucking you know a messed up fucking inside sphincter. Yeah. To put your fucking. So it's so just you're it's, basically getting like just crazy industrial scale like reflux that blasts all your digestive exactly. acid. Exactly. And my body, into, the bot, the sweating is essentially me burning it out. Like my body just what don't working smell over like to, when you're to sweating I don't, during that. I don't know. Like, I bet I don't smell myself. Like yeah, no, you wouldn't. But I bet you. I, yeah, I, uh, 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 you know, theory. Next time, smelling Aaron. <laughs> like I'll huff just like Aaron. I don't want we'll, to. We'll I'm I don't want to be the next time. Like record like. <laughs> like I'm, 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 I'm fascinated by that. Yeah. There are times when like, you know, I eat something that I know at the time is like a bad idea. Yeah. Of just too fucking greasy. Uh, and then just for like the next day, I'll stink of it. Right. So they, 
they explained this, you know, the Gord and everything. I, Gord. I meanwhile, I'm looking up Gord. I looked up Gord on my phone and was like yeah. just looking up things to eat and stuff. So it turns out Eating I've got to got to eat just things that with with alkaline content essentially and low acidity. So things like bananas, huh. you know, apples are yeah. good. Brown rice. So I've been surviving essentially off brown rice. Brown rice is good. I love brown rice. Honestly, um, like it's you just gotta hunt around for things within this stuff that like you you can really you know get onto. Because yeah. I I am at heart a giant fat cunt. Yeah. Because like I do like eating's just so great. I you know, know it's such dude. a great thing. But now, 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 all my options are so limited that I've lost five kilos now. Yeah. Um, because all I've been like, literally, I wake up, I have, I gotta have a tablet in the morning now, before I eat. Thirty minutes before I eat. Yeah. And this, this, I think, leads into why I always get sick in the morning. Um, yeah, actually, because like, because this is like, I mean, at the end of the day, all of this is very positive. Yeah. Because these are. These are A, we know what the problem is, and B, these are solvable problems. It's not like you've got some kind of wild fucking, you know, oh yeah, you've got this one in a million syndrome that just doesn't have. Like you were just born without a certain digestive, mm. you know, enzyme, so you're just never gonna fucking work right. Like all this stuff has a solution that can be affected to like, you know, make it so you're fucking normal again. And what, like, I think like once you get like shit like the fucking, you know, once you're able to eat, Regularly yeah. and like sort well, of essentially, have a more I, diet. like a after of after a month, I'll know. be able to start you know eating some more things. But it's just you know it's about moderation. It's like you've got to level your stomach up to like be able to do shit again. Yeah, like, essentially. Like, you know, you just got to grind like fucking banana by itself. Wow. Celery, lettuce, you know, watery things. Yeah, melons. Melon. Yeah, those things. Melons are good though. Like ah, oh, dude, I love melon. Like watermelon. Fuck yeah. yeah. Rock melon. I, I was gonna say rock melon fucking rules. Like yeah. I really enjoy rock. Rock melon's melon. great. I mean, I I can eat acids and enjoy very acidy things. So I buy like a pineapple a week and just wind up like just eating it. Yeah, I could. I do not think I no, could eat a pineapple. You, you can't do that. That pineapple, would kill me. Yeah, pineapple which is, is a, a bummer. Is a, yeah, I love pineapple. One day, like, you know, it's delicious because it's so well defended. Yeah, like it I, knows. It's a thing that it's a plant that knows it's tasty. I love that you just eat something that eats you. Because, <laughs> like, it, it, that's what it does to your mouth. Yeah. It eats, like, parts away. Yeah, you gotta get this down quick, otherwise, like, technically the plant starts digesting you. <laughs> you know, fucking... It's so good. It's like... It's just such a nuts fruit, because it shouldn't be that fucking cartoon delicious. Yeah. Because it is almost a cartoon fruit in that respect. Like, nothing else is that. Like, strawberries don't taste like fake strawberry. Pineapple tastes more like fake pineapple than fake pineapple. Yeah. It's so fucking good. Like, it and mango. And let's oh. let's talk about fake banana. What the fuck? That's the worst substance Where did that on go? Earth. I don't fucking. How did they decide that's banana? Yeah, I would like to go to one of those like flavor factories because I'm just kind of curious as to like what. Like, banana do they just must take be like challenges from the hard public? to produce. I know that they go like they, they they literally go and like I don't know if they still do it. Like I don't know if it if it has to be done because mm. they might be fucking finished. They might have like I don't know uncovered all flavors. But like they they'd go to like the fucking Amazon and shit and be like, oh yeah. We found this fucking flower that produces this compound. And because of this compound, now we can make, like, you know, a better fake strawberry for your fucking, you know, yeah. big shake. So the nurse comes and gives me what's called a pink lady. <laughs> now, a pink lady is essentially a drug cocktail of... Ga <laughs> it's weird they call that a pink lady. Gaviscon. Yeah, we call this the Swift Cosby. <laughs> uh... So it's got Gaviscon and it's got some other stuff in it that I looked up. It's got like numbing agents and stuff. The so it's essentially Gaviscon with numbing. Right. That So it goes down, you can Gaviscon's like- Gaviscon's one of those like, it's cause my, my dad like had like those Mylanta roll tabs. Yeah. So it's kind of like a milk, was it milk of magnesium or some shit? I'll and just like, get the bottle. Yeah, and then you fucking, they made a liquid out of it. Cause they have it in the States and stuff. It's like this pink liquid and when you get really bad fucking reflux. Which I used to get back in my drinking days, because you just fucking annihilate your, you know, stomach flora and your stomach lining. You don't eat properly, and so you've just got this fucking, you know, I'd be there after like a two-day bender of barely functional, and then I'd think, oh, you know what would be a good idea? Eating something. And you know what would be a good idea of something to eat? Like this fucking souvlaki that's like mostly jalapenos. And then I'd get like, just brutal indigestion. Yeah, so this Gaviscon is supposed to be so Gaviscon dual action: sodium alginate, sodium bicarbonate, calcium carbonate. Okay, it's supposed to be peppermint, mm. oral liquid suspension. That's fucking weird. 
Yeah, I, I, I like that because what that means is like the liquid's not the relevant part. The right. Stuff suspended in the liquid is, ah. that is the relevant part. Yeah. What this medicine is used for. Gaviscon dual action for fast, soothing, and long lasting relief from the pain and discomfort of heartburn, gastric reflux, and indigestion. Is heartburn different from reflux? Yes. Because I was. Oh, what's heartburn? Um. <sighs> Because now I'm curious. They're, they're like, very, very similar, yeah. I believe. Let's have a look. This, what did you say, indigestion or reflux? Heartburn and reflux. Reflux. Because like, I mean, I'm pretty sure I've had like reflux and shit, but I don't know if I've ever had heartburn. But like, I've, I've I find like. You know, it's a little bit one of like one of those things where you use the terms fairly. Heartburn can be a symptom of reflux. Okay. It's a condition in which you feel burning behind your chest can be a symptom of reflux. Reflux is the medical term given to the stomach contents coming okay. up into your esophagus. So reflux is describing the stomach thing coming up. Correct. Then, and then if that happens in a symptom. certain spot, you've got like oh, yes. my heart. Yeah. All right. Okay. That's managed to piece that fucking together now. <laughs> I don't know. Well, see, I don't have, like... It's weird, because, yeah, it's you, it's like, most people I know have, like, these, like, long-term debilitating conditions of some description, or, like, where, with you, where it's just, like, this fucking... just carnival bastards, <laughs> you know, where it's, like, it's just always something. Yeah. And, like, I mean, I, you know, it's like, all right, I've got, like, physio and stuff to do, but it's also, like, that none of that's a mystery, you know? None of that's, like, oh, how'd this happen? Yeah. You know, it's like, oh, yeah, like, it, it is posture and stuff like that. There's like lots of little things that you can just you know add up. Like the worst, like I mean, okay, so like you know the curbside pickup is back, mm. which is good because like holy shit, the fucking. I mean, I don't think they were gonna get away with not having it again this year, considering like everyone's got like flood damage to shit to throw out. Yeah, we had it earlier. Yeah, so like we're going through you know the under the house storage zone because we've got like one under the house area that's fit for human occupation, and then like this. Like, it's a little bit like the backyard. There's like an upper under the house area that you gotta like really crouch down in. Yeah. And it's just where you stuff things that you don't want to throw out, but also don't want in your room. And so- That you know, just stole my fucking bubble. <laughs> so along comes fucking curbside pig. I was like, all right, let's get rid of this shit. And so I'm pot I was, I spent yesterday and the day before pottering about down there. And there's, okay, so like, you know, there's those, the fucking floor is not just suspended in space with magic, right? When yeah. you build a house, you gotta chuck down these like fucking Honk and great, goddamn! Like the wood that is wood. Yeah, you know, it's not like bolster. It's not like oh, I'm gonna fucking. It's like no, you can't even get a nail into this shit. It's so hard. Yeah, so the foundation got, wood. Yeah, for our fucking like beams, you know. Yeah. So you got these fucking beams in this fucker, and those don't go anywhere when your head hits them. <laughs> and the thing about the little, you know, under the house is great. You can run. I can jump. I can fucking, you know, do all sorts of shit under the house. But then, you know. I go up into the little area, it's like, oh, okay, I gotta crouch. And that's fine. The problem is, is like the beams, there are some that are like, that there's a whole run of them that are one depth, you know? So I can, I crouch at a certain point. And then there are two, just haphazardly spaced, that are about two centimeters, like, lower. So I will hit them with my head, not with like the front or like a bit of me that's like, Durable, like there are bits of your head, like the, mm. you know the, the the Chinese term for it's you know where the horns would be if we had horns, like the front, right. the, the forehead bit. You know, yeah. imagine if you were gonna pick a fight with a fucking you know goat, like the bit. You know, you're not running, you're not bending over and smacking with the back of your head. Yeah. So the top front bit, you know, can take a fairly the solid. Yeah, can take the, can take a fairly solid walloping. I, you know, am in currently engaged in like a very difficult process for me, which is something that requires various forms of thinking. So like, okay, do I want to keep this? Do I want to throw it out? Will I ever need this again? Which is a, a terrible thought for, you know, me to have, because maybe. I then try to predict all possible future states where I might need some like- Welcome to my life 24 seven. Yeah, where I might need like some fucking, I don't know, leftover bit of bed frame. Yeah. You never know when you might need a bit of wood. Oh dude, hundred um, percent. And I'm doing that, and, I, and, I, and I'm physically lifting things and, you know, hurling them out as well. Like, if I didn't have women in my life come in and stop me, <laughs> I would have been a hoarder, 100%. Like, Oh, yeah. No, I... I have, like... Not, like, I have the hoarder thing, but I yeah. also have this purge thing. Yeah. And those keep themselves in a pleasant balance. Because I still had one of the TVs from, like, Manabar. I saw that, yeah, yeah the Kogans. Uh, yeah, you saw it out there, you know, it's like, yep, there's that going. And, like, bear in mind, like, this was, like a decent, sensible thing to get, like, you know, in 2012. Yeah. And it it, it, it was useful for a time. And it was useful oh, to yeah. have, like, just a, a fucking quasi-decent television that you could just plug some shit into if you needed to. 
And you know, in, in, in the intervening time, like I've also got like a fucking 44 inch one that I built for like a fucking, you know, other purpose, just sitting down there that I still haven't used. And so I've got this, and <laughs> bear in mind, it doesn't have a stand. It just has the fucking <laughs> iron goddamn mount. Yeah, so for those who don't it. know, these were the TVs that were in the manor bar. Yeah. So the manor bar was a small bar, and as you walked in on the left side and the right side, there was TVs bolted to the walls yeah. with games on them. Those big fuck off, like, you know, mounting brackets that you yeah. can get for TVs. But these were like the fucking industrial ones, and they were real fucking heavy. And so, yeah, I just had that down there still. And I was like, all right, you fucking just throw this fucking thing out. And while I'm down there puttering about, I... I wasn't even taking a step. That's the worst part. I was just moving my frame from like, you know, one side of a 30 centimeter space to another so I could get a look behind something. And in this motion of me moving my body, I miss the fucking, you know, the, the lower one with my forehead mm. and then proceed to just bash oh. my fontanelle right. And like there's, <laughs> you can like, like, like it hurts. Yeah. You know, it, it hurts now, but you can feel like there's a scrape and a bump. Uh. And like, cause it's this, it's this horizontal fucking like log, so it just goes dunk and yeah. just puts this like immediate long scratch like in oh, my fucking man. head. And it's the kind of one where I had my mouth open slightly cause I was just sort of breathing and trying to think. And I hit the head and the head hit the, you know, the, the, the shock wave went through and made my teeth bash together. Like that was how <laughs> yeah. hard. Yeah. You know, I'm when I when I walk about down there, I'm like, oh, okay, don't bash your head because yeah. it really fucking hurts. And so I'm not doing that, but I didn't, I wasn't walking. You know, I was just shifting from like, you know, side to side. Yeah. And didn't think that was going to be an issue. Oh, dude, it always and happens. It's just gone. So how it always happens? You know, you know it's coming. You know, you're, you're careful. You're usually careful. It's everything. And even you probably had a glance at it when oh, okay, be careful of that. Like just subconsciously. I, and then I, it's no, just I, the next I think step about like, it boom. every every time I go down there. I'm just like, all right, look, just just crouch down a little yeah. bit. Yeah, just crouch down a little bit deeper. The problem is, is like the depth that you need to crouch is like just below remotely comfortable. Like you're effectively doing like it's a good leg exercise. Don't get me wrong, and I do like try to treat it that way. But it's also like persistent intense glute and thigh activation you know for like mm. 10 or 15 minutes is is just a notch fucking meal like i'm not getting 10 or 15 minutes of like imagine a fucking 15 minute wall sit and that's effectively what you're dealing with here is like me just like and it's basically that or brain damage yeah. uh, uh, are my operational choices in terms of doing this. Although we did get the area cleaned out. Nice. Which, yeah, is nice. I mean, like, there's not much else to do back there now. Um, you know, I got rid of the old TV. Some other fucking odds and ends. But, uh, most, of my, most of my spaces, like, my, in, the, in the little storage area is taken up. It's just, you know... Honestly, a lot of, like, transformer boxes. Yeah. Like, that I, I, I just don't want to get rid of, because... If you still have the box the, and you keep the item in good condition, then it still maintains a lot of its value if you wanted to resell. Right. And that's useful. You're that's never going to resell. Some, okay, so like some, I may upgrade. Like there are a few right, there are okay. a few pieces I've got that I'd consider like, e even now I'd consider them basically almost placeholders. Like not that they're bad figures, but like even like a, lo a lot of like the, you know, Hasbro Masterpiece series aren't bad, but also like, it's, it's still Hasbro doing it, and so a lot of, like, the better developments that have come along in the past, like, you know, 10 years of, like, third parties doing shit just aren't in those. Mm. And so while they are good and they do have, like, much better, like, articulation and things like that, there's still just, like, other companies are, you know, blowing this out of the water for, like, you know, a hundred bucks. Yeah. And so, like, there are ones I'd replace. There are ones that I'm absolutely not and I'm just happy with, but, like, there are a few. So you, you, you can never throw out the boxes then. Mm. Did you watch anything interesting this week? Um, that was a good question. Not really, because I was just sick for most of this week, I think. Ah, uh, yes, the tum tum and the bum bum. Yeah, so I've just been watching, as I said earlier, rewatching Marvel movies. I've been going through a lot of um, a lot of retro horror. Right. Okay. Catching up on ones that either like I saw, but like fucking, you know ages ago, so, you know, trying to get, like, a, a more modern perspective on some of them, and, uh, 
or you know ones that I remember hearing about, but you just you know next to impossible to get if like you're just trying to fucking scour video stores for sure. it. Whereas now you can just go like I want this and it's yeah. there. And like so on Twitter, you know so, I can't even remember why it came up, but like there was some discussion among wrestlers of like favorite horror movies. Like, mm. I think it, 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 you know, it was part of an interview thing. And like Chris Jericho's answer was one that was really fucking weird. And it was Sleepaway Camp 2. Jesus. Which is, yeah, it's a little known series. So Sleepaway Camp by itself is an interesting fucking film. Just because it's like, there's sort of a little, it's, it, it, it's an odd duck. So basically, you know, it's a fucking campers dying at a thing. And you're yeah. kind of trying to work out who it is. And 1983. It's a, yeah, and it's, it's, it's possibly, it's like, there's like a little boy and his sister have been sent to camp. And for, like, I think the film is intending to make you think it's like the little boy, but it doesn't do a very good job of that. <laughs> like, you know, when I say little, I mean like you know, 13 or 14 or some shit. So it's not like a five-year-old. Yeah. But like, you know, and like they they, they, they do go to the trouble of, of making it look like it's, you know, probably one of the kids. Like it's clearly like, it's not like, oh yeah, who killed this guy? And it, the dude has been, you know, obviously strung up by a six foot tall monstrosity. Like it's, yeah. it's, it, it's murders that like, you know, a child could, uh, you know, a child could manage. That's what you want. You know, you want, you want kids seeing murders a child could manage. And then, so, long story, like, fucking short, it turns out the sister isn't a sister, right? But it was, like, a little boy that was, like, raised as a little girl by, like, the crazy auntie who was just like, ah, I've got too many boys. Right. And it, 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 it's not what I call an amazing horror film exactly. Like, it's a good movie, mm. but, like, you know, it's not sort of, it isn't the same as a horror. It's not like, oh, God, you know, this could happen to anybody. It's like, there's... It's not like just like, oh yeah, there's like fucking Jason murdering people or some shit. Like there's no, there's no sense of like broader threat to it really. But like, it just ends with, you know, the fucking one that's been like basically made to be a sister. Just naked, dick out, holding a, another child's head. Just going, ah! Jesus. Oh, it's like, it is one of the most batshit insane final scenes of like a movie like there, there are some there are other contenders but like -wee, this one's a humdinger and like people will say it's like that the thing you know you, you'll, you'll see people describe it as it, it describe the film as being you know e even the fucking shutter description was like it's got a problematic ending and like people will describe it as transphobic and it really is because the kid's not transgender yeah you know at no point as a kid is like oh i'd like to be a girl this is something that was done to him by a crazy person you know like they didn't they, they weren't a woman. I'm watching the ending on my phone. Yeah. Like, they, you know, it's not like, oh, I'm a, you know, I'd like to live as a girl. It's like, that wasn't an option. Yeah, you know? no. Like, it was something that was fucking, done, again, done to him. Like, imagine transgender people if, like, you weren't like that because of a quirk of birth, but because, like, someone just yoinked you off the street. Yeah. You know? Like, it's not, it's absolutely not the same fucking thing. That, so, that movie made bank, dude. Oh, good for It cost 350000 and it made 11 mil bucks. Yeah. Well, that explains why I got a sequel. Now, the sequel... Uh, Sleepaway Camp 2 is not amazingly well structured. Like, it's sort of odd in some respects, but it's it, it's good in that it's like kind of almost from the, the perspective of the killer. So like basically now, I don't know. Like, this one was made in 1988. It was called Sleepaway Camp 2 Unhappy Campers. Yeah, I mean, they, they, they were not happy campers by the end of it. Like, because effectively like... You know, and I'd say, oh, if anything, this one's probably, like, you know, slightly more problematic than the other one, because, like, this time it's just like, yeah, well, you know, they were kind of being raised as a girl anyway, so we gave him a bunch of shock therapy and just, like, fucking completed the transition, and now she's a she. And so, the you know, it's just, there's never a mystery, or there's mm. never, like, any kind of confusion as to what's going on. It's just clearly, like, Angela killing people. Right. And... Like, that's, again, that's not bad from the perspective of, like, this is interesting that you are, like, the movie really is just almost entirely from the perspective of the fucking killer. And there's not a lot of things that sort of do that. And it doesn't really, like, at no point is it sort of, like, sympathetic. It's clearly, it's like, you're a crazy person. And, like, yeah, that's basically it. And there's no sense of a plan, exactly. It's just, like, people will be, will do something that she thinks is, you know... Not camp behavior issues. The camp's real fucking important because like the, I don't know, the last time she was ever happy was like camp, and you know she'll like fucking just kill them mm. and kind of stuff them somewhere and then say that they went home. And it's like sooner or later people are gonna notice this. 
Like, it's not like this is just, oh yeah, they went home and no one's ever gonna check that. Like, parents will eventually be like, hey, where are my kids? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, they went home. No, they didn't. Like, I, you know, I'm here. Normally, you know. But there are some solid kills. It's pretty violent. Like, you know what's really but interesting? It's, but what it isn't in any way, shape, or form is fucking scary. Like, it's, it is it is not a scary fucking film. It's not like, oh, shit, Angela. Like, you you know, they're, they're the character perspective. It's mm. not like a fucking, you know, again, it's not like, oh, look out, this fucking very small trans girl is going to get you. Like, that's, that's not even how it's presented, you know? Mm. And again, it's like some tiny fucking chick. What's she going to fucking do? The film is purposely not... According to William Harrison of DVD Talk, the film is purposely not scary, adding that instead ramps up software human ridiculous death scenes. Yeah. Why? But it's a horror movie. Like, why? Well, I mean, it's violent. And it, it does use a lot of the functional horror tropes in terms of, like, you know, a teenager's you know getting super killed super interesting about this series is, apart from the first one, there's no box office sales listed for the others. Probably wasn't released in cinemas. I'd be surprised. Release. I mean, the third one's a piece of shit. Once we get to like, it was released th theatrically on a limited basis. Right. Like, it. Uh, the third one's called Teenage Wasteland, and there's four of them. I did not know there was. Yeah, a there's another one. one. Return to Sleepaway Camp. Huh. I'm gonna have to look look for that one because like, the third one is like immediately into. We're not. We don't trust anyone here to do a good movie, so we're just gonna make it stupid from the word go, and like that's fine. But also, I think it's kind of like, you know, because the problem is, again, they're turning this into a thing where it's like, oh, yeah, here's like a great movie killer. And that's really not what this character is, you know, like Sleepaway Camp 2 is good because it's there's, ne you know, there's never a situation really where like the killer is like in any way, shape or form the known focal point of the plot. Like mm. normally it'll be like a mystery and then it turns out that it was this guy and you're like, oh, OK, but then. Here it's not a it's never a mystery. It's never like, oh, I wonder who's doing it. It's like, no, just literally the opening scene of the film. Fucking, you know, tells you what's happening. Dude. But that's just nuts to me. It's like, that's your scariest film. What part of this what part of this gave you nightmares, Chris Jericho, you baffling fucking creature? Children. Children scare him. <laughs> Cause it's like, it's that fucking issue of like and they, they, it was something that they, they did reasonably well on the really recent Halloween movies. Mm. It's like, you know, it, this comes up when you look at, like, real serial killers like Ed Campera and shit. Who was, like, six four, six five, fucking huge. And, like, built like a brick shit ass. And, like, that dude was killing women. Mm. And it's like, there is nothing you can do. Dude. Like, he is a fucking massive, massive creature. And, like, they, they in, <laughs> in, like, Michael Myers in the fucking most recent Halloween movies is like, is fucking huge. Yeah. And there's a, a scene in the fucking second of the Christ Knows What's Going On remake, like the Halloween, if you want to have a laugh, like look at like the Halloween movie fucking thing on like Wikipedia, like the series, cause it's like the Halloween, Halloween, Halloween one, you know, Halloween two, Halloween three, Halloween four, Halloween, Halloween again, Halloween a third time, Halloween two again. Like, cause there's just so many reboots and That's shit. Insane. And so, most of them are just called Halloween. That's fucking insane. Yeah, but like the most recent one, so <laughs> if you're trying to fucking figure it out, there's cops doing some shit in the start. And like Michael Myers runs full sprint just into one. Like not like bent over tack, like upright, arms out, just cleans one up. And this is like a regular sized cop and fucking wipes him out. And you're like, that's one of those situations where you're like, oh yeah, this sells, this sells why this fucking guy's good at that. You know, it's not like just, you know, like in fucking Scream, where it's like, I think I can beat fucking Shaggy and Ski Ulrich in a fight. Like, I'm not fundamentally scared of that. It's like, I know, yeah. I know one of them's got a knife, but also I don't want to die. So like, if it comes down to like having fucking Matthew Lillard cut me a little bit, or somehow not overpowering one of the skinniest humans I've ever seen. You know, like there's, people don't just go, oh, well, time to die. Whereas if Michael Myers comes at you at speed, at that fucking speed, it's like, oh yeah, I get a moment to think, what's that? And then before I know it, there's, you know, 150 kilo lunatic on me already. And like, already, like, you know, mm. you're, you're mostly fucked. You know, that's it. And like, that's, you know, the part of sleepaway camp is like, it's not like, you know, they, they could go to some reasonable effort to explain like, Oh yeah, this is how this 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 wee fucking girl's doing this. Mm. You know, like she throws battery acid in someone's face, and you see her like 
collecting the battery acid earlier, and you're like, I wonder what that's about. Mm. And then, like, yeah, because one of these, like, you know, these campers are like, there's like the jock, and he's like, you know, because he's, because it's a fucking movie, he's a 25 year old man, with, like, <laughs> massive, you know, like, yeah. fucking adult male upper body. And you're like, okay, how is this, you know, how, how is this gonna work? Because, like, you, you can't just, like, you know, I hate to break it to you ladies, but you're not gonna win these fights on just fucking, you know, gumption alone. Like, it's just, it's just not gonna fucking work. And like, yeah, she just whucks battery acid right in his fucking face. <laughs> and like, to be fair, great, that's a great fucking setup, you know? It's, it's gonna be hard to do anything useful if you've got like acid melting part of your face. Yeah. So, return to sleepaway camp. Oh, dude, get this. Okay, so did they try? I'm not, I'm 2008 slasher film written and directed by Robert Hiltzik. Mm. The fourth film in the Sleepaway Camp film series, the first film released direct-to-video, oh. is a direct sequel to, to the Sleepaway Camp while ignoring the events of Sleepaway Camp 2, I mean, Sleepaway that's, Camp 3. That's not the worst approach. We're, you know, we're not necessarily in bad territory here. The film features Felissa Ross reprising a role as Angela Baker from the first film following huh. Rory casting in the previous sequels and Isaac Hayes in a post-humorous cameo role as his South Park character, Chef. Oh. Yeah, I know. We were so good up until what? that. The, like, what? We were so good up what? until that. But dude, I started reading the plot, we, right? We were okay until it was like, we've, we've cast the same fucking, you know, girl, we're gonna ignore like the fucking, and like, it's okay to ignore the second one, even though the second one's a good movie, because it is just batshit. Yeah. You know, like, it's like, she just kills an entire camp basically and tries to drive dude. off. In 2003, Alan is a boy who is at the summer camp at Camp Manabi. The movie shows Alan is a socially, socially awkward and immature teen with a slovenly appearance. He tries to act tough against small kids like Pee Pee. That's great. I know, like, I like, what? I mean, I am gonna, you have to I'm watch gonna, this. Yeah, I, I do have to find it, cause like, you know. I, <laughs> chef's in it. I know, <laughs> dude, like. Is that like, I mean, uh, 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 During a social, it, Alan is fooled by campers Terry, nicknamed Weed, Spaz, uh, and Stan. What? Uh, cause like, I mean, I'm assuming that they just don't use the name to get around the fucking copyright. Into smoking dried cow manure, which makes him cough and fall on Stan's crotch, earning him the nickname Blowjob. This is not going to be the return to form that I no. think Sleepaway Camp could, could, no. could do. Because it's sad, too, because, like, it could... You know, I mean, if you wanted to do something like that where it's a direct sequel to, like, the fucking original and, you know, you, you kind of do some interesting things with it, that's, you know, that's fine. There's a lot of interesting things to be done. But, like, just the second you said, oh, so Isaac Hayes is in, I'm like, okay, like, a, you know, that's not necessarily a, he's chef. <laughs> oh, <laughs> why would you do that? What's, what's, what was the fucking, who thought that? You know what I mean? Like, who? Ah, okay, so is it supposed to, does he, I don't, I, I, I'm overthinking this, that's a problem. I'm sitting here going, how does this fucking fit in with the dramatic world? It's like, it doesn't, don't, you know, don't. You're giving this more fucking, more than it needs. They just Everybody made him chef. Fucking, like. Yeah. <laughs> Isaac Hayes is desperate for work. Oh yeah, he's a, he's a big celebrity name we can use to spruce up this fucking horror film. This is like, yeah, let's cast him as chef. Uh, uh, let's just leave this. You know what? I think Sleepaway uh, Camp One and Two are like different but decent films. Again, I I I I, I do recommend watching them if you you know if if you're not squeamish with violence. Um, it was great. So there, there is some solid. If you're not if you're not up on um, Isaac Hayes, uh, he he used to play a character called Chef on South Park. Um, Back in the old days. Back in the old days. And then uh, Scientology got him. And did Scientology get him or did they have him before he was I in South Park? Because I, I don't one know. way or another, yeah. Like, so Scientology. So what happened him, was yeah. he at first Isaac Hayes defended South Park South every Park. time they did something offensive, and, which was you know, you know even all the time. even when like they did the, the Scientology stuff, he was like, Well, you know, I don't agree with it, but you know, I understand what Matt and Trey are doing. But then he had a stroke. And huh. while he was in hospital his entourage essentially took control. He met Zenu. <laughs> and they decided to quit 
South Park because of his sort of what they did to Scientology. And that's when Matt and Trey made that episode, you know, Return of Chef, and Chef ends up getting struck by lightning, falling down a, a cliff, dying, and then Scientology collects his body and turns him into Darth Vader, essentially. Uh, and that's the last we that's, see of him. That's one of the that's one of the like modern episodes of that show that I've watched, just because mm. the fucking thing about like the, the Scientology analogs, L. Ron Hubbard just hitting upon the idea of like molesting children <laughs> to extend his lifespan. And just every picture of oh, him with like shit, kids man. and we're all kind of looking at him freaked out and he's just got this weird smile on his face. Yeah. That was very funny. So was this after that? Like when when did he This was after that, it was two so, years later. So that he he did he quit in two thousand and six and yeah he Oh yeah. Dude. So it must have been like just he'll be chef, but we won't call him that. Well, he, he says he, he says his character name's Charlie, but it's like in brackets chef. So I'm assuming they're just and there's the same. Like you, guy. you can call him chef, like that's not trademarked or anything. I suppose. Well, I mean, it's not well, as long as you don't have like, the exact outfit. Like yeah, like it is because I think it said chef on his chef's hat. I can't remember. It's been so long. What's that adding to your fucking movie, <laughs> man? Come on, like, why would you go to the it's trouble? It's direct to video, it? dude. I know. And it it looks like the second one only made like. It was only like a hundred grand on on sales from like it's domestic, gotta, yeah, and it, it costs four hundred and fifty. It's got to be one of those things where like they fucking it's like a tax thing or some shit, like. Yeah. Because like, why? Third one is the same. Why go to that effort? Yeah, like the third one was made in a period where it was just like, all right. You know, because it's stupid. Mm. Like, just even from Go, it's a dumb fuck. It's a dumb horror film. Because, like, that was happening to most horror franchises. Like, because you'd get, like, one, maybe two decently scary ones. Uh. And then after that, it was like, hey, this is dumb. Yeah. Like, yeah, let's just fucking, you know, let's just go nuts with this. Because, like, the, you know, it happened with Kruger. And then they finally did, like, fucking, you know, New Nightmare, which was actually really good. Because it sort of inverted it. But, like, you know, it had built up enough of that for it to work. Mm. Um... So it was, it was New Nightmare. I mean, there have been some, there have been some legitimately really good movies in the Goofy pile though. Like Jason yeah. X, great film. It, it fucking it is. Like, cause it's it's it's, it, it and it's a good example of like if if you aren't shit, you can do these movies, and still do them well. Yeah. Cause like, Jason X for those who are you know unfamiliar is Jason goes to space. Yeah, so and, they decide that, you know, they can't get rid of Jason on Earth. He's just, yeah. he's, a, he's a menace, so they send him into space. Yeah, and it's set in the future as well. There's, like, a robot lady and shit, and, yeah, so the idea is, like, they they, 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 they launch Jason into fucking space. It's like, yeah, there's a mask's up there. He can come back all he wants, but he's going to be in space. Yeah. And it's like, well, what are you going to do? I'll be a smart guy. And, like, fucking... I mean, A, there's a scene where they've got, like, a hollow suite of like fucking uh. Camp Crystal Lake. And there's a bit where like Jason is finally awakened and he's like going through and they try to like lose him in the hollow suite of Camp Crystal Lake. And they've got like two like, you know, hologram teens. Mm. And they just, they, they just show up and go, hi, would you like to do drugs and have premarital sex? <laughs> and like, that's, that's funny. Cause it's, you know, it's referring to the fucking thing. And then, there's a scene where like Jason walks through, sees this, and then it casts to some other shit and cuts back. And there's just like one of their sleeping bags is tied to a tree, and then he's holding one of the other sleeping bags with a lot of dead weight in it, and he's bashing one with the other, and you can hear <coughs> of like the hollow girl getting like fucking knocked up against this other one. And then that's before Jason gets put into the healing machine. Yeah. That, like, repairs him and rebuilds him. Because yeah, like, the space station's like, oh. This person is like need healing, and it puts the nanos on. Yeah, nanobots it's a bit like fucking the booth in like fucking that uh, that you know demon movie where he's in South Africa, mm. but in the future. I can't remember. Yeah, I, it's Elysium. That's it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, so it's, it's like that, except like, uh oh, Jason gets in there, <laughs> and they fucking rebuild him with modern technology and create Super Jason. It's pretty actually like I think that's a really cool movie. No, it's again because it doesn't pretend it's anything. And I got in trouble not. for renting it. <laughs> I, I fucking. How old are you, Aaron? I love this story. No, it's not because of the age. That's great. It's because my I dad. Was it's because my dad gave me money to go to the video store to get a to get a certain DVD, 
And I wrote to the video <laughs> store and I came back with Jason X. Because they didn't what? have they didn't have it. What DVD did I don't he want? No, some shitty new release movie. But they didn't have it. So I got Jason X. He's like, I didn't want fucking Jason X. I wanted this. And I'm like, well, they didn't have that. He's like, we well, should have yeah. brought back the money. And I'm like, too bad. I got Jason X. Yeah, I'm not, Dad, I'm not going to a video store and then coming home without something. I don't think you understand how video stores work. Yeah, you also, go to a video I store and you come home with there. something. It's not a fucking short ride. <laughs> I came home with Jason X. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's another one of those ones where it's like, all right, he didn't give you a backup, which should which should be on. Exactly. If, if, if the plan is go send, send Aaron on his bike to the video store, there's got to be a backup. Exactly. But if you came home with Jason X when I did, really didn't want Jason X, I'd probably beat you too. I mean, I just... Hey, he, he never said he didn't want Jason X. That's, a, uh, that's, that's, that's true too. Mm. I mean, you know, try Jason X. You might exactly. like it, you know. Exactly. Get some horror in your life. Yeah, so. it's like it's you know it's it's got violence against women. Like you know what else? What, you know, <laughs> what more could you like? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you're into that. You know? Oh, uh, lordy. And that's so I've been watching like that, and I watched fucking Critters too, Aaron. Oh, lordy, Critters, yeah. which is another one of those movies where it's just like it's about tiny little balls, but they're also mostly mouths, and they're from they're, they're from like space. You mm, see, and they're not yeah. supposed to be on Earth. So there's also like alien bounty hunters. I really like the Earth. fuzzies from Mario. Yeah, actually, like quite a quite a lot. In the first movie, the the big climax, like you know, the money shot moment, yeah. where you're like, all right, let's get the special effects budget out, was they turn into like one giant ball of critter where the mouths <laughs> are all on the outside, and they're rolling around this country town, just rolling over people and turning them into skeletons. That's great. Yeah, so that that's kind of like the tone of this fucking. That's great. Movie. So there's like, I feel like it's one of those situations though where like the second one, the the violence is toned down a bit, and it's right, like, that's bummer. Yeah, well, it was that fucking problem, and it's like it's a problem that's been addressed now, fortunately, where it's like Hollywood would struggle to do something that was really violent and funny at the same time. Yeah, you know, like it just it it, it didn't understand that. Like it was either a comedy or it was a horror. Yeah, and like you could have horror comedy in quotes, but like they usually it was either like Sam Raimi made it or they'd fucking eventually they'd be like, well, we're not going to get people who are here to watch fucking exploding heads and we're not going to get kids. So if we turn down the violence, we'll at least get like some fucking kids. Mm. And so that's, that's, that's the track you'd see happen. It's like, yeah. they just get weaker and weaker. Now, you know, you get the best book, which is why things are so much better. But like, yeah, back then it was just like, oh yeah. Cause they're called crites, you know, cause that's, and then, you know, people on earth call them critters, yeah. which makes sense when you see them. Cause you look at them, like, oh, what the fuck's that little critter? Yeah. But yeah, this one's a little bit, like they, again, they were never. A, it was never a sensible series, but this one's got a definite thing of like, all right, you don't care. But the good thing is, Aaron, now I'm up to like Critters Three, Critters Take Manhattan. Jesus, no. S starring Aaron. Oh God. Guess who? What year? Like I think it was like '88. I think. Don't, don't necessarily quote me on that, but like I. I... Is it is it going to be an actor I know? Oh yeah. Oh okay. Biggin. Male or female? Male. 88. Like, I don't think you're going to get it. No, I don't like, think so. It's yeah. a, like, uh, okay, Stallone? Uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. You What? Yeah. It's his, that looks like his breakout role, Aaron. Fuck off. It's like how Jennifer Aniston's in Leprechaun. <laughs> yeah. Which is a fucking shit film. Like, that Leprechaun's another one that wasn't even really trying from the start. But, like, holy crap. Like, when a, when, when, when a series doesn't try from the start and then... Just gets like worse and worse and worse. Like, cause I think it was like three films until we got to Leprechaun back into Hood. There's there are five critters movies. Holy shit! I didn't know it got up to five. Yeah. So there is. Uh, let's have a look at this. I enjoy like finding out that they make more movies of things. I'm enjoying this because it means there's more critters movies. Right, so to critters, watch. critters two, the main course. Critters three. Yes, that's what I'm up to now. It doesn't even like have the subtitle on it. Critters 4, and then Critters Attack. When was Critters 2019. Attack? Ooh. Then there was a Critters TV show. I did not know that. Critters, a new binge. Oh, wait, that does ring a bell now, American comedy, horror, comedy, web television series. Hmm. I'm worried that it specifies on web Shutter. television series. I was like, like, no, a reboot on of the original, original franchise. The series Shutter. take place Livingston. This was made in 2019, dude. How is that not like, it's probably like it's on episodes. American Shutter or some shit. Yeah, that's a tragedy because like there was close to a fucking Tremors series with with Kevin Bacon in it being made, and it didn't get made. And I'm very upset about that because like Tremors rules. Mm. Yeah, Tremors fucking rules. The, the, 
it, like the first three Tremors movies are solid fucking films. It gets a bit, uh, it, it gets a bit like fucking, you know, out of hand once like Michael Gross takes over the focal act, you know, sort of points. Because like Bert just isn't a very good focal character. He's an excellent side character. Mm. You, you know, you, you, you don't want a Bert film basis. You know, Bert's not something you hang your fucking hat on. So Leonardo DiCaprio was 16 when in that movie. Yeah, that was like pre-Gilbert Grape and everything. Gilbert Grape's a very good movie, but it's also very depressing in a lot of ways. Yeah. yeah it is. That's another one of those ones that reminds me of Goodner. <laughs> so it's like, what's it about? A fat lady that can't move in a break, broken down family. And just this kind of sad town, you know? I don't like, know. The most exciting thing happening in that town is they're getting like a franchise fucking like takeaway place. I love this blue shell. Aaron's holding a blue shell. It's like, it's a, it's a literally like a nice blue shell. I got that when I it got nice the, that came with the collector's edition of Mario that? Kart 8 on the Wii U. Bit of black on the back of it. Yeah. I'm gonna get like some fucking rubbing alcohol and rub it. Yeah, in. so back to our discussion of previous, we never actually, I don't think we talked about it, but I know on the Mario Kart thing, we talked about guaranteed blue shells. After we played that Mario Kart, we went and loaded up Mario Kart 64 and tested it. And I was correct. There is a guaranteed blue shell in Cooper Trooper Beach. I did not know that. On the thing, and uh, we in on further investigation, it's the only game in the series that does it, and there's two boxes. The other one's on Luigi's race course at the start with the balloon that comes down. That's what it is That's a blue, blue shell. Yeah. And the crazy thing about the blue shell is if you get the blue shell and you hold it behind you, you have blue shell. Best protection in the game because it doesn't break. Anything that hits it, it just kills it. It's I can the only see game you got rid of that. Yeah, it's the only game you can drag a blue shell to. Yeah, I can see what I got rid of but that. You would never think to try to drag it because you'd get it and you're like, I, I need to fire yeah. this. D can you use it in first and will it hit you? Yes. Huh. It goes... That's, that's hilarious. Because like... Yeah, because we, we, you were testing it and the thing was the, the, the... Whatever the beach one is requires you to get up that really long fucking ramp. Yeah. And the thing about Mario Kart 64 is, is it is impossible to drive in a straight line. <laughs> Like, yeah. real talk, that is not a good game. No. It was amazing because it was better than Super Mario Kart. Which it was, was, and it was four player. Yeah. Which was fucking insane. Which was, yeah, which was a big deal. But like, again, Super Mario Kart, not a good game. It's one of those Mode 7 driving games that just doesn't feel like you're driving at all and uh. controlling it's a fucking nightmare. And like, Mario Kart still has a lot of that. Because yeah, it's 3D. Karts aren't. Mm. And so you're just kind of like, not exactly steering. And they hadn't nailed the fucking drift yet. No. It's horrible. No, it's, like, it's very bad. It's... Like, I eventually get used to it, like, because my memory, muscle memory takes over from those times, but yeah, it's Once not, they added not, bikes, there's when a lot of things tightened up. Like, the, I'm not saying bikes make the series by any stretch, but things like, you know, having parts that do something. The DS one was just stellar, because yeah. it introduced different carts with different stats, different characters. But also, I, I lament the fact that I want an online ranked mode. That has less item chaos. So you know how in the when you set up a, a game locally, you can choose your item density. Yeah, do, yeah, do that yeah. online. Make it low item density. Make it everyone uses the same cart. So <laughs> I was gonna say, and then you too can lose to a fucking Yoshi sneaking. Yeah, because like just the, it's you can either use standard bike or standard cart. That's it. And you know the parts are all set. They're all standard just for the point of for a sort of online because it's at the point you saw in, as when you were racing, mm. you choose the meta. And why? Because that is the best. Yeah, because it's measurably the best. It, it's not It's not even slightly, it's measurably. And, yeah, and Nintendo like, don't do a good job of like, fixing anything like no. this. No. And the, th the thing is, they cannot, the game, they cannot change functionally at all because of time trials. Time trial is existing with online components now. If they ever change anything about a bike or a cart or its parts. All your trials are useless. All your trials are useless. So they can't do that because then all their leaderboards would have to be wiped. Or just like, you know, you could have like, this is the leaderboard for this build. You have seasons. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Like that. <sighs> That's what I'd like to see if we ever get expanded on, like, you know, more... If there's ever another Mario Kart game and not, like, Mario Kart fucking deluxe 
8 again deluxe. Mario Kart Matsuko deluxe. <laughs> it's just Matsuko, Matsuko Kart, Kart deluxe. deluxe. Yeah. I'd play that. You've got to fucking chase Endo. I'm just in then... general, more kart games. Yeah. You know, like, feel free to... feel Like, they, they don't own the idea of karts. No. Like... You know, because like, I fuck it. I love Mario Kart. I really do, and yeah. I love Mario Kart Eight. But also, you know, there was a seven-year gap in fucking DLC, yeah. which is insane. You can't do that to me. We got like know? we got about eight minutes left, so I'm going to talk about the other the other thing that I did this week. Um, since I've been young, I have never been able to shave properly, like straight. Like a lot of people can't just do a close shave. Yeah, I've got like, like it it, 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 it took a while, but like, like I've got really sensitive skin. Yeah, and I get really upset having like facial hair and shit. And so I was like, get the I'm cream. I'm gonna shave. I use that on I'm my I'm gonna shave, one time. and this is what happened. I'll show you a photo. I'll probably put it on screen. Jesus wept. Yeah. So <sighs> I decided I'm getting near. Yeah. I got. I've used that on my pubes twice. So I got. Two types of nair. I got the body one. That's the one for body. And then, I got, down then I got a face. Facial one. Huh. Special for the face. Now, the body one mostly worked. Um, there some areas it didn't. But that's probably because of a timing thing. Because obviously, like, only, like, as you cover it, and then you go to the next part, there's going to be different timings. So it's a cunt. Um, is there any, like, I'm assuming you can't just leave it on for, like, you know, too long, but, you, like, I just... To anything over, you're not allowed to leave it on longer than 10 minutes. Huh. Um, so then I tried the facial one, and it, it didn't work properly. So this side of my face mostly got it. Mustache didn't do shit. It did not. It was right, very, it was right incredibly side, visible. it's, like, all red and stuff, yeah. like... And the reason that my skin is like this is because when I was younger, I had really bad acne. I had acne to the point, like, my face was purple. Oh, yeah, you had proper, like, cystic acne. Yeah. yeah. Now, I went on Roaccutane to fix this. Um, and I've still, I've still got the scarring, like, on my cheeks and stuff, but my skin is essentially fucked from that, from the acne and the Roaccutane, because Roaccutane just essentially dries the fuck out of your skin. Mm. Um, I don't think it's used much anymore. There's better <laughs> medicines now. Yeah, yeah, it turns out this is like it's, it's not good to give. No, because it like it was also you know caused depression and other things and stuff. And <laughs> yes, that's such a that's a that's a wild choice where it's like well you can be depressed because you're on these pills or you can be depressed because your face looks completely fucked up in high school. I know, right? And it's like what that's a choice. A, that's a that's a and like no one's choosing like. The fucking pimples. No, you know, God, no. No one's choosing, like, full-scale fucking acne. Because that shit, like, apart from looking awful, it fucking hurts. Yeah. Holy shit, dude. Like, imagine, like, uh, you've got a pimple, and you know how bad pimples are, like, when you squeeze them, that, like, little pain. Imagine that, like, kind of, like, all the time. Like, if you just touch your face, it's just pain. It's just, oh, man, it sucked. So, I... I think the only thing I'm gonna have to, I'm like, I'm gonna try the cream again, like after a week, give it time. Let it to, like, let it really. Because I cause, moisturize and you know, but let it really soak in, you know. Like, don't, don't let them. Because what's the worst that's, that's gonna happen? The skin's gonna get more fucked up. Yeah, it's gonna burn all of it off. Like, you know, I don't, I don't think you're gonna die. You well, know? I, I definitely felt like I left it unlimited to like ten minutes, and I definitely felt it starting to burn. Huh. So maybe if I just leave it just a little bit longer so yeah, and get see, that burn. To me, something like I like it with, like, you know, it's like using like rubbing alcohol or something. It's like, careful, a little sting. It's like, yeah, that's how I know it works. Dude, do you know, do you know how fucked it is? Like on the back of the bottle, like it's a pump, the body one, right? Mm, yeah. The other one is like a, a tube and like gives you a spatula to like spread on your face. <laughs> spatula. Yeah, that's what they, hey, that's what they call it. No, I know. I just, you know, uh, but they, um... It does something to your hand. Or so, the body one, it says to put on a towel. It says not to rub it on. And I'm just... Like, it on. I'm like sitting there and I'm like, so I've got to fucking dab it on. So I end up, started dabbing it on and I'm like, this is fucking garbage. And then I just pumped it into my hands and just started rubbing yeah, it on. Yeah, like I was going to say, because like, like the, 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 the two times I've done this, and I was smearing over my junk. Like it was just like, <laughs> you know, I just grabbed it and I was like, oh yeah, on it goes. 
So yeah, I just I did that. Like and this, like, if this can go on a Volvo, this I can definitely go on felt my fun. hands like starting to burn after a while. Yeah. <laughs> like, but I'm like, do you know how hard it is to dab on? Because you got to apply it thickly as well. Like it's not just yeah. not just a light coat. You got to get this shit on like thick sunscreen. So I just started rubbing that shit on. Mm. I don't even know what variety I use, but it's like, it's just, it's just always that fucking thing when like women bitch about like oh, shaving your armpits. It's like use the goo. Like I've used that on nutsack. And nutsack is like It's madness. not very expensive either. Yeah, it's so it's so fucking easy. Like if I was so motivated, I could put like a pattern in there, you know, like I mean I'm not gonna do that just on like off the fucking bat. I wanna get I wanna get electrolysis removal. So they remove it. It's like kinda like laser, but it's yeah. not. It's a lot safer. And better for you. Yeah, it's um, not like just some random person giving them a high powered laser. <laughs> yeah. To, like, there, there's there's only like a few clinics that do it. So it's, you know, specialty places rather than, oh, every single nail that's place that does laser. And it's I, like, like that, I like that it's like a specialty thing because I feel like that's how that should work. Yeah, 100%. Because you know, I don't want just everyone to be able to use like fucking a modified Blu-ray to like lightning the fucking hair off me. Yeah, because otherwise you need to get an orange-based foundation because orange essentially works with the like hairs. It's like the color of it. To it like, enters into to a hide partnership it. with the hair. Yeah. To convince it to leave home and attach itself to a small, bold cancer child. Well, no, this isn't to remove it. This is just to, like, hide it, you know? Okay. Because, like, for example, if you if you get, like, laser or electrolysis, you can't shave. Right. So you've got to leave it. So it, you get it in sessions. Okay. So you go in and they'll do it for, like, half an hour. You leave, you know, come back in a week and they do it again mm. just to, to not fuck your skin. Because it's just it literally is, yeah. a laser burning the yeah, follicle it's out. Like, you know, <laughs> it's like, it's exactly what it says on the tin. It's a high-powered laser zapping your face. Believe it or not, not meant to do that. But, well, you know. <laughs> Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> what price, what price vanity, huh? Right. I mean, I, uh, I don't know. I think about that sometimes when I look at my fucking shoulders and like the weird little tiny pimples I get up there that just don't go away. Yeah. And I've been thinking about it like... Because I just got used to it in high school, and I was like, okay, I guess those will go away with time. And I was like, <laughs> hey, that was like 20 years ago. Let's check in on that. It's like, eh, I feel like this should be gone. Like, it's not like fucking, you know, it's not acne or anything, but it's just, yeah. it's just annoying, you know? Yeah. And the problem is, is like, it's annoying in that kind of fucking little way that like just tweaks that bit of my brain that's like, mm. I need to solve this or it's going to drive me fucking nuts. I'll go in with you. I'll be like, hey, can you get rid of these? Can you like zap me as well? Because like, I've also got these little fucking like bits of like ruptured blood vessel. Yeah, and, they're there. and it's like I worry about them being cancer. Are they the doc, so like the doc says they're like not those things? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I got lots of those too. Yeah, but like the doc says they're not, but like also they can be, and I'm like, well, let's see that off. You know, let's head that off at the pass. I've cut a few shaving, man. That sucked. Cause like, Psst. yeah, like yeah. Cause I thought huh, they just look like blood blisters. What if I just like fucking lacerated one with a fucking scalpel that oh, I've dude. got? <laughs> yeah, and so it turns out they're not blood blisters, but they are full of blood. Yeah. Um, there's a lot. A like, lot. It's just not yeah. going away. It's it, like, it just it's like. It's like water too. It just starts yeah. running it's out. Like, I didn't realize there was that much in here. And like, apparently, you can like, yeah, you can fry them or whatever the fuck. Yeah. Okay. And I'll go. I in didn't know that. Get some fucking yeah. Well, fuck you know, yeah. You can completely spruce yourself up and look like a fucking you know replicant. Just need to get know. rid of these moles. That's what a lot of the fucking. I need to go to Korea. You know. That'll make me beautiful. Like yeah. Just go. <laughs> just go. <laughs> Korean women, fix me. Because <laughs> I got my science bong. Fucking like, tidy what? this shit up. What else can I go? That fucking got you when you walked in. Yeah, uh, yeah. Aaron just loudly declares, "Science bong, activate." <laughs> and yeah, like as someone like who in high school like weed was basically their personality. Like seeing how this shit going all around today is like fucking nuts. Like I saw a fucking vape, you know, vape machine once and was like, "Holy shit, look at this!" And now Aaron's got this thing called the volcano, and it I looks like. Sporus and Bickle. Yeah, yeah, and it sounds like it was built by, like, a fucking, you know, Swedish company that actually builds things, and, like, because the vape thing that my friend had, like, fucking in 2001 was, like, it looked like it was assembled at home by somebody. Like, yeah. It, it looked like a product, but it was like, okay, someone built this themselves almost. Yeah, it's like when you get those, you know, bike motor kits, Yeah. and, like, you've got to assemble it yourself onto your bike. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of ways this could go wrong. <laughs> like, I, you know, I had a fucking cut-off fucking coke bottle in an actual bucket from downstairs yeah and i use i, I use my like, aircon bucket yeah that's catches the water from the aircon then i use yeah. it for bong water sweet 
sweet condensed bong water. But yeah, and now, now you've got this fucking magical it's, device. It's, a, it's, it's like, amazing. So it's a volcano. So it's a base station that sits there and it's shaped like a volcano. And in the top of it, there's like a bunch of stuff. That's where the science lives. Yeah, it's one of those weird heating elements that just turns blue. You got a heating element and a bunch of holes, and it gently steams the weed. Temperature now on the temperature dial it just says one to nine. That's not very helpful. So I googled it to find out what those yeah. temperature values were. Yeah, what's that one to nine? What? Yeah, what's that relate to? So you turn on the heating element when the light goes off, then you can put on your little spout, and that's <laughs> this little chamber. And yeah, it's that's got, where you put the weed. It's got the weed, and, and then you put like this there. fucking bag on top of that. It goes on there. And you put this this bag on that has a, a valve has a valve on it, and the valve has four little bits that seal the bag. And then when it's in the freshness, when it pushes in, that opens the seal. You press the other button, and it starts blowing, and it blows through. And it doesn't even weed, look and it like the vapor exactly. It looks like a haze. Yeah, because it's vapor. And then you you take it off that. You've got this little other black mouthpiece, and, and that Mickey. clips yeah. on there. And then you push down and you can suck and out comes thing of the bag. So it's like, remember those those big long bags you got that you just hit people with? Yes. It just looks like one of these, like a short one of those. Yeah. Give me one of, give me one of those long ones I could hit people with. Imagine that. That would be a big one. As someone who did enjoy the task of smoking the most weed, yeah, I, I, I do completely understand that even though I, I no do, I love myself. smoking the most weed. I, I just do. It's just. I wouldn't enjoy it anymore. Is, no, is, you would Is the problem. I wouldn't, See, I, I, I wouldn't like I, the you, sense you'd of you'd staggering You'd be more on something paranoia. like this because you can choose your dial. Because, like, you you choose the heat to just release the cannabinoids and get only the medical properties. Okay. And then you don't get the high high. And also it helps if you use the weed that, you know, is medically made because then to it doesn't. get high high. It doesn't have the stuff yeah. in it that gives you the paranoia <laughs> and anything like that because it, it is medical grade. Uh, I just, you know, I don't, I, don't I know. My, I know. I got my fucking meth and I'm good with that. I'm just saying that is for those who, who think that medical marijuana is just sitting around getting wacky. No, it is, it is for medical purposes. Like I don't, I don't sit Altered. here and go, <laughs> start laughing at everything. Like I used to, I've also been smoking for a very long time. So I have a high tolerance too. Yeah. So, yeah. You got to take tolerance breaks every once in a while. You have like two day break and it just kind of drops that tolerance majorly. It's right, really interesting. Right back to fucked up. Oh, I love being fucked up. It's been a long time since I've been fucked up. <laughs> like, oh, coming up on the new series, let's get Aaron fucked up. <laughs> I get healthy first because, like, any anything to get me fucked up now would just put me back in the hospital. I mean, just weed. We're not talking about. It. I'm not saying let's get you like a fucking eight ball from the. No, local even pub. like smoking too much weed now gets me like, just hits me with vertigo. Uh. I just get fucked because it's like, because of all the other illnesses still circling around in me. It's just- yeah, actually, that is a fair point. We should probably like, fucking, at least get rid. At least get rid of some of the fucking stomach things so you can properly really enjoy a munchies. You know, dude, that's like, best part is going to the like. Kitchen and getting my harvest snaps baked pea crisps. I mean, I know why, but these like, are so good. As someone who used to get baked and make cake mix just to eat, I hate you. <laughs> I'm looking at it like, ooh, salted pea snaps, and just being like, oh, you're like, that's like those sad hippie kids up the street who always got carob at like Easter. Yeah, so I love carob. These, um, the salt and vinegar ones are these two, and they're really nice. Now that actually does sound interesting, because the only two acceptable chip flavors for me are salt or salt vinegar. and vinegar. Yeah. Anything else, I just find fucked up. Like I don't, I don't buy. I've never enjoyed a barbecue chip. They the are fuck this weird. Like, weird. I like. I do like Doritos, corn chips. That's a whole separate thing to me. True. You know, like they're I don't not, consider them potato chips. Yeah, they're not there. Corn chips is a different base. You can get a bit, but again, all I want on corn chips is as much artificial cheese dust as you're oh, legally allowed yes. to put in that fucking thing. Oh, dude, and then salsa. Oh, yeah, it's crazy because like you can go on the internet and just get that shit, and you can also get this stuff that like breaks down cheese proteins. So you put it in with like melted cheese, and it turns it into proper liquid cheese. Jesus. And I keep meaning to get that because I do want just a, a tub of liquid cheese, <laughs> and it's like. I gotta, I gotta like space this stuff out. I'm not allowed to just have 
you know, I'm allowed to just have liquid cheese. Yeah. Even though I fucking really want liquid cheese. So to end this, I'm just going to give a little shout out to Throne. Throne is a gifting service where you can buy us things from amazon.com.au and Etsy safely and securely without us exposing our addresses or where Etsy we are. Etsy being on their worries, man. I didn't know you had Etsy because you can get a lot of things from Etsy. Oh, fuck yeah. People sell butt nuts on Etsy. I know. So now you'll see on screen pop up. There's the website. Go there. You can suggest things. You don't have to buy all the stuff that's on the wish list, but you can suggest things for the wish list. Don't buy put me in, Put in a fan message and then. I can approve it. But remember, it's got to be on amazon.com.au. Even Australian though even version. though there are things that ship to Australia from the amazon.com, this site is only through .com.au because they've I don't know how it works. It's got some sort of it's a local site shipping local thing. People. So yeah. I hope you've enjoyed this as much as I've enjoyed being in hospital this week and finding out that I am more sick once again. Uh, but I get to see Doctor Strange tomorrow, so fuck yeah. Hopefully my, uh, you know, my fucking AE light gun will be getting shipped soon. And ah, oh, titties for that. Because the one cool thing about this company is, like, they're getting some, like, neat shit done. Like, one of them, they've built a, uh, it's, the, the whole thing is modular, you know? So, like, stick the, you stick other shit to the gun. Fuck yes. One of the things that they're talking about doing and have, like, a mock-up of, but they're like, oh, will there be enough interest? Is, like, you know those crazy old arcade rifle games? This is one of those. And you just clamp it around your fucking light gun. And then Fuck yeah. Yeah, like this one will have like its own vibration motors in it and shit. And holy tits, I want that. Because then you've got both, both. You know, then you've got both. You don't need yeah. like two fucking guns like some kind of lunatic. Your, your brother got a Spira. I don't know what that is. Remember those fucking cool ass water guns we saw? The electronic ones? Oh, the ones that actually, does he have one of those? He's got one. That bastard, he yeah, didn't I tell me. I went to your dad's house the other day and- Because I saw one of those. I was like, oh, I kind of want that. I saw it, yeah. I walked in and saw this one on the table. And I'm just like, motherfucker. I hope you just didn't get one. Yeah. That doesn't make sense to get one. Unless well, I mean, like, because that. Also, where's your brother going to use a water gun? That's, yeah, because, like, one of the things I want to do is, like, get one of those so I can, like, blast the fucking miners. Yeah. I just want to get them so we can fucking fight each other. Yeah. Because they look fucking rad. They do look rad. <laughs> and it's better than getting hit by a paintball. Like, because water still hurts, but, like. The, the gel blasters are the good mix, I find. Because yeah. they, they, they sting, but, like. Not like a fucking paintball. I'm so ball. pissed. I was so close to getting a sniper to take the bird out in the backyard, the one that just kept yelling. Oh, the one that keeps yeah, swearing I at mean, you and stealing I, your you ideas. You saw it. It was so territorial. Remember we went out there and it was just chasing other ones away from his tree? I mean, that, yeah. But I mean, then didn't that tree get knocked down? Yeah, back in the backyard, well, they, you know, they demolished right. the house and they took all the trees down, so the bird's gone. So thank fuck. But don't get the sniper. Back to trying to get the sniper to shoot at the local kids. Uh... They, they won't see me, Gabe. That's, that's I'm a true. sniper. Because <laughs> I'll be like, I'll can't, be like 50 meters yeah, away. Can't tell whether you're 100 meters from a school if they can't see you. Exactly. All right, people. Take care. Peace, love, energy, blessings to you. This is what we did last week. We'll see you next time. Keep It Classy is proudly sponsored completely by its fans. We thank you for your support. Somehow. I'll have you know.